Hi guys, welcome back to Talk with Toria. Today we'll be talking about cheating. Years ago, I thought cheating was an instant deal breaker in relationships. I thought once people realized they were being cheated on, they immediately break up and move on. By cheating being considered one of the biggest relationship deal breakers, it is not always a deal breaker in all relationships. Let's start with this. What is considered cheating? Many couples face conflict because partners don't share the same definition of cheating. I remember a guy I was in talking stage with saying flirting isn't cheating to him. Some people would consider sexual fantasy cheating and some would say as far as the person hasn't acted on it, it's not cheating. I remember my first cheating experience, well, not my own. I was 16 and in this situation or relationship, that don't even count as a relationship anymore. So this guy went for a party. I was close with his friends, by the way. So I was getting gist from his friend of how my guy was dancing with the babe, touching and stuff. And I think they played through the day and my guy kissed a babe. So I went to meet my guy. Like, guy, I heard you did this and this. And then he started explaining. The kiss was just a kiss. It's not a big deal. It was a game. So it doesn't count. The dancing was just dancing, babe. There is nothing more to it. Well, you see, there's a problem. I considered those things cheating and he didn't. So before getting with anyone, I think it's important to sit down and discuss what you both consider cheating and your boundaries. I've been listening to some things that people consider cheating. But there's flirting, denying your relationship, spending time with a specific person, purchasing intimate gifts and presents for others. Engaging in sexual talks with someone else, becoming emotionally involved with someone else, having sexual contact with someone else, as little as hugging them for too much to having sexual intercourse with them. And the list goes on. You can comment what else you think should be considered cheating or what I've listed here that you don't consider cheating. And then there's emotional cheating. Some people say that emotionally confiding in anyone other than your partner is a form of cheating too. Well, this is a question for you guys. Should watching porn be considered cheating or not? Why do people cheat? I keep asking myself this question almost every day. Why? Why do people cheat? Some use don't put your all your eggs in one basket as an excuse to cheat. It might sound ordinary for a woman to find out her husband is cheating on her, but not if you're the woman and it's your husband. Some be like, eh, no be new thing na man they cheat. These are some reasons people say they cheated on their partner. Insecurity. They didn't feel attractive, smart, whatever, so they seek validation through cheating. They use that to feel wanted or desired it to see. Coconut head. So people just have coconut heads. That's it, it does that's the joy for them when they do things they're not supposed to do. The feeling the true feeling is, is it for them. It's like a child stealing a biscuit their mom says they can't have. Or Adam and Eve eating from the forbidden fruit. You can see. Coconut heads. Unresolved early life trauma. The problem is many people don't recognize the problems in their relationship. They come from a family full of un- unstable relationships. So cheating is them responding to unresolved childhood traumas like sexual abuse, neglect, etc. Another one, the life not lived. The cheater is not unhappy with their current life, but they are curious about what their life might have been with their lover that got away 
or their childhood crush well they say that curiosity kills the cat that's all i'll say for now another one is wanting to feel intense emotions they want burning fire you know when simon said you like my fire i want in fire da, da, da. i guess she was actually talking to them for these ones when their relationship has probably settled into the comfort zone they want to feel the intensity of a newly formed relationship these are the kind of people that would leave yesterday's jello fries in the fridge just cook a fresh jello fries again you see they like fresh foods <laughs> well, these are many more reasons why people give for children but i don't think there's any that justifies cheating how does cheating start how i was reading um some part of a post from phoenix black on instagram you always know when they are already starting to like that person a little more than normal you know exactly when you begin to cross the line with them and you know that's the exact moment when you should stop and create distance. But will you? No. Instead, you tell yourself it's a harmless friendship. Well, that's all I'll be reading from her post. You can read the rest from her Instagram page. Well, that's how cheating starts. With good intentions. With just being friends. It's a harmless friendship, you say. We are just having harmless conversation and then one day it leads to a kiss and more. Stop watching what you don't want to see grow. What people do when they are being cheated on or when they realize that they've been cheated on. Sometimes when people find out that their partner is cheating on them. They think it might be an avenue for them to prove their love for them, that they love them unconditionally. Some people feel that their partner cheated on them because they had a hand in it, like they pushed their partner to do something, to, to, to cheat. They blame themselves partially for their partner's acts. When your partner cheats on you, you can choose to forgive them or break up with them. The choice is up to you. What makes what matters is the reason for your decision. There's no point staying with a cheating partner if you are going to hold a grudge or do your own back. Yeah, you heard that right. Do your own back. Because I've actually seen a lot of instances where people cheat just to get back at a cheating partner. Some people try to save their relationship after cheating because they are scared to be alone. Some think that their partners will change after cheating. That they won't do it again. Yes, it's true. That change is the only constant thing in life. And on that note, I'll end this episode with this. People can change. Doesn't mean that they will change. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye, guys.